Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah Korn, and in today's video we're going to be doing another very exciting figure unboxing. So as you can see guys, I already opened up the parcel here. The reason being is that obviously I just said this is a figure unboxing and all I have here is this little mailer. So while I was browsing Mercari using by JP a while ago, I found this figure for a very good deal. Mind you, she did come boxless, and that is why the package is looking like this. And I opened it up just to make sure she wasn't shattered to bits or anything. Um, she's good, so I'm very glad about that. Um, definitely don't recommend taking risks like that, but I just want to note that this was a prize figure, and she seemed pretty sturdy. If there was little things that would break off, they didn't seem like it'd be a major deal. I would never, ever, ever, ever by a boxless scale, but again, this was just a prize figure, so I went for the risk. With that said, guys, let's get on to begging her here. Um, this is another Madoka Magica figure. After I got my last one there, um, which I will have that video linked up above if you haven't watched it yet. I love that figure so far, and I've been wanting this set of figures for a very long time, but Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find them for like really good prices. They don't go for terrible either uh, for the most part, but I couldn't find any for a really good price. So when I stumbled upon this one, I knew I had to finally get her. Um, guys, the set that I'm talking about, you can see a little preview through the bubble wrap there, is the Madoka Magica Macaroon sets. They have three versions for both Homura as well as Madoka. They have the strawberry, blueberry, and chocolate macaroon variants for both of them. As you can see here, I got the blueberry macaron variant of the Homura. Normally the cheapest one you can find is the chocolate um, for both, and I'm not a fan. I will say the Madoka ones are much harder to find than Homura. Still, that said, I have seen them a few times over. So here she is pulled out of the wrap there. This is the Madoka Magica blueberry macaroon version of Homura Akami managed to snag her on Mercari JP for 3,800 yen, around 40-36 Canadian, so not bad at all, but on top of that I had a 1,500 yen off Mercari uh, through Bai's coupon promotions, so I got her for a really good price. With that said guys, the macaroon uh, chocolate versions normally go for 2,500 yen, so you can get those ones cheap. I personally am not a fan of the chocolate for either the Madoka or Homura, but if that's your thing, I mean, those ones go for really cheap all the time. I normally see the blueberry is the second most common, but she normally goes for around like 6,500 yen. And then the rarest would be the strawberry macaroon, which is my favorite of the three. Um, I do plan on getting Homura in the strawberry macaroon. It'd be nice to get Madoka in either the blueberry or strawberry at some point, but again, She's much rarer and does tend to go a little bit higher for price. That said, guys, please don't be spending like $200 on prize figures. Uh, recently, I saw on Depop all three of the Madokas, and they had like the chocolate one going for like 165 Canadian, and that's that's insane to me. I would never pay that much for a prize figure. Um, you might have to wait a while, but normally you can find them for more affordable prices. That said, guys, let's get on into her close-ups.
All right, guys, so first impressions is I absolutely adore this Homura figure from the glasses to the hairstyle to the outfit to the macaroon. It's all so adorable. Her hair sculpt is very nice and the hatching on the eyes is perfect. Obviously very accurate to the Madoka Magica art style. Let me know what you guys think of her down below. Alright guys, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. Let me know if you guys have gotten either any of the Madokas or the Homeras from the Macaroon collection, and if you got them for a good price or not. I'm interested to know. If you guys want to see more of me, feel free to go check out my Instagram and TikTok linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.